For centuries people dreamed of turning lead into gold. Alchemists searched for the so-called philosopher's stone, hoping to transform base metals into something precious. Their efforts failed, until now. In 2025, scientists at CERN finally pulled off what the alchemists never could. Using the colossal power of the Large Hadron Collider, they actually converted lead into gold. But don't go digging up your old chemistry set just yet, because this is not the kind of gold rush you might imagine. Here's how they did it. Deep beneath the French-Swiss border, the LHC hurls lead nuclei around a 27-kilometer ring at nearly the speed of light. 99.999993 percent the speed of light to be exact. Instead of smashing these atoms head-on, the ALICE experiment engineers what they call near-miss collisions. These glancing blows don't rip the atoms apart, but instead create mind-blowing electromagnetic fields. Now picture this, these fields are so intense that they can nudge bits out of the nuclei themselves. A lead nucleus has 82 protons, but in these collisions a photon can kick out three of those protons, transforming the atom into gold, specifically gold-197, the only stable isotope of gold. It's not magic, it's nuclear physics, and it's called electromagnetic dissociation. But before you start dreaming of gold bars, here's the catch. The amount of gold produced is incredibly small. During three years of experiments, scientists created about 86 billion gold atoms. That's just 29 picograms, less than a speck of dust, and each gold nucleus exists for only a few microseconds before it smashes into the walls of the collider and disappears. So, why bother? Because this breakthrough isn't about making anyone rich, it's about understanding the universe. By watching how these atomic transformations happen, scientists can test and refine their models of nuclear physics. This helps us understand not just what happens inside a particle accelerator, but also how elements like gold are forged in the hearts of dying stars and in the epic collisions of neutron stars far out in space. In a way, this experiment bridges the gap between ancient dreams and cutting-edge science. It shows us how far curiosity and human ingenuity can take us. Even if the gold we create is vanishingly small and gone in the blink of an eye. So, can you turn lead into gold? With a multi-billion dollar machine, a team of world-class physicists, and a little help from the universe's fundamental forces, the answer is yes. But the real treasure is the knowledge we gain along the way. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. See you in the next video.